In my last few videos, I've used sketches to help me start my layout. For today's video, I'm going to use these three portrait photos of my puppy Flynn um, to fill the width of the layout. Then we'll use coordinating designs from a pack of, of Stampin' Up! designer series paper, uh, such as this, these three pages from the Earth and Elegance designer series paper to build the layers to create our layout. So hi, my name is Amanda Farlinger and I help busy women scrapbook their memories using stamps, ink, and paper. So we are going to be creative together today. I love carving out time to make these videos for you because it's my way to share my passion um, to help all of us, whether you're watching this, um, wherever you are watching this, I should say, to find time to be a little creative um, and um, save your memories. So we have um, these three photos. I already have this one layered, and then we have these two. So they're um, four by six. So our pages are 12 by 12. So this fits a 12 by 12 page. And I didn't want to cut down the photos. Um, so I pulled out the Earth and Elegance designer paper. And this paper right here is what we're using this pack. And so you can see some of the designs there on the screen. And then um, here's the backside of these pages, which I'm not a big fan of this one and of this. It's like the mauve, moody mauve or whatever. This one's a really cool design, but we're gonna use these three pages. And then pulling the colors from that pack of cardstock um, is the Pebble Path, which is a uh, in color and it's new this year and then Pretty Peacock, which is a returning color. And I've added some gray granite, which might be part of that pack as well. But we have three colors that I've pulled from the designer paper to create this layout. All right, so I've already cut my paper. And like I said, I've already, so my cardstock here, I did Pebble Path. So I did four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then Pretty Peacock is, um, four and a half by six and a half. So you get those two layers. And then the back I've put dimensionals on there. So that way it's ready to go. Then we have this really cool, almost looks like raindrops or mud or something. I thought it was kind of fun. And then we have this kind of, not really a hashtag or hash design, but like a woven, that's the word I want, a woven design. And there's that almost looks like a painted metal, like, um, those shop floors or whatnot. So we're going to start and build our layer layout with layers. And hopefully, and all I did was I laid out my, well, before I put this down, I laid out my pictures and went, okay, this one goes here, this one goes here, and this one goes here. And because I put the layers, it's going to cover this photo up a little bit, but that's okay. I, I don't need to see my husband's ear. Um, and I don't want to cut this one down. So I figured that if I could have something like this, so if you have three photos across or even three photos in landscape going up, you can then pull paper in and just see like this blue one. I'm just going to use it you know, I just tuck different pages underneath to see how the layers would work all together and decided the blue that was in the pen at the time, because this was the first day that we got to meet our puppy Flynn and picked him out from four males. So there was 10 in this litter and we got to pick out of four males. It was really hard, but we decided on this guy and instantly fell in love. And, um, he is just adorable. Now he's three months old, but, um, we love him. So I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to scrapbook photos because he's grown so big. Okay, so we put this piece. I'm kind of doing centered. You could leave more room at the top or the bottom, depending on what you wanted. But I figured make it nice and easy and just add these layers. And all I did was just take the designer paper pop it under the photos, see which kind of worked best uh, with the photos, and then kind of gauged at kind of the, the spacing. So there's roughly about, I think there's like a three quarter 
inch spacing from this layer to this layer. And then this layer to this, there's like half an inch. So it's a half an inch. So it's like a six and a half. And then this is like, I don't remember. I'll, I'll, I don't remember. But you kind of just guesstimate and away you go. So I'm using some stamp and seal oops, on the back of my photos. This is not the stamp and seal plus. So you don't want to use the plus because it'll be permanent. So if you ever want to take your photos out for whatever reason, you want to use the stamp and seal. And you never know. These ones, because they're digital photos, I'm not going to want to take them out because I have them on the computer already. But if you're scrapping with old photos that were on a negative, um, then you may want to either one, make sure that they're scanned into the computer first, or um, that you want to take the photo of the layout when you're done too. All right, so this one here, we're going to butt right up against the left side of the layout. And it won't have much, I'll lift this up here, maybe you can see. So it won't have much of an edge up here or down at the bottom, but the photos kind of lay or, or um, lay up. So they line up is what I want to say. So now we have our layout here. And so now we have this one, which is the most adorable photo <laughs> that we took of him that day. The puppies are really hard to take a photo of. And um, I wanted it to be highlighted. Now, this one, this is Pebbled Path. I might need that. I forgot that I wanted to stick this under. So then this, and this is just eight and a half by 11 cardstock that I've cut like a one inch strip just to create a little bit more dimension on this layout. So you can just use the designer paper and a pack of designer paper is perfect because they are uh, built to coordinate together. And for this layout, I wasn't sure what stamp set to use, but I bought the Just My Type stamp set. It's brand new in the annual catalog. And I'm looking for my stamping pad because this one is a photopolymer stamp set. So you wanna make sure that you can have a good impression with it. You want to have some kind of foam mat. So we're going to take this. Um, you hold the key to my heart. Oops. You hold the key to my heart because he definitely does. And this is a gray granite cardstock. So you'll notice here it's a little bit lighter or a lot lighter than the pebbled path. So we want, I'm going to use memento black the stamp and we'll ink it up and I probably cut this rectangle too big I think it's like three three and a quarter inches wide so something like this there we go and then of course we want to remember to clean our stamp with our simply chamois so that we can pop it back and not lose the stamp. All right, so now I may have to trim this down because it's got a slide under here. Yep, I'll trim that down. Just a little bit. I'm not really measuring, I'm just trimming off the bottom. So I just wanna tuck the bottom in so you won't see that edge. So even if you use some scissors on that, no one's gonna notice because we're gonna tuck it under. Now you could use a punched um, part, like um, if you had a circle or a die cut or something instead to put there, you could do that. But that is my title for my layout. Next up, we have these itty bitty little hearts. So I love making my own embellishments for my layouts. So using the stamp set with some ink, so we have the Pebble Path 
and the gray granite. And then I used some gray granite cardstock. And then I just fussy cut these out. So there's that little heart right there. So this, you could also use flowers. Um, you could use a rainbow if you wanted, or the little plant if that worked for your layout. So there's a couple different options with this uh, stamp set um, that, you know, high and flowers, and you don't have to use the type um, typewriter. I was gonna say keyboard, but that's not the right word. All right, so I already have these pre-cut. And you can do a couple different things to glue these onto your layout. I am going to use our glue dots. And these are awesome because you just take your cut, punched, or die cut piece, put it right on here. Now these two, I'm gonna do something a little different. All right, oops, it came off. All right, so for these ones, I'm going to take my dimensionals, and you can use mini dimensionals for these. Oops. Oh, I think I will use a mini dimensional. Mini dimensional. There we go. That works best. And now we're going to add, so we're going to put three up here. One, oops, don't need the glue. Two, so the lighter heart, even though it looks about the same, can't quite tell in this light. The lighter heart is popped up. Then we're gonna put these two hearts down here. Now another option you could do if you wanna do a little bit more stamping, you could stamp this um, pebbled path cardstock using the hearts or another stamp set to create more texture to your layout. So there is our uh, 12 by 12 scrapbook layout for Flynn. And I'll add some journaling uh, maybe along here, just the date, um, March 30th, 2023. And, um, you know, that we got to pick them out of 12. And now he's ours. Um, so there will be a blog post with instructions written out for you. And the link is in the description. And if you've enjoyed this video, um, you can sign up to my email list to receive my fun, three fun, easy scrapbook layout um, sketches. And then um, thank you so much for following me or joining me. And we'll see you next time.